Doug, Eric Musselman moved to Arkansas with his family earlier this year, and it's been so much fun for us to get to know his family over the past couple of months, and that includes his daughter, Mariah. Mariah joining us in studio this morning. Mariah, I'm so excited to have you with us to talk basketball and about your life in Arkansas and everything. Um, I want to talk about basketball first, though. I went to a game uh, with you earlier this season. Um, the Hogs won that game, and they've been winning a lot this season. Uh, how do you think they're playing? I think we're actually playing good. Yeah. Like, like, like really good. Except, like... I mean, it's just like one game we lost, like just brush it off. I'm like pretty sure we're going to win the next one. So, you know, I think we're actually playing like like really good overall. Yeah, I, I like that mentality. Brush it off, move on to the next game. The next game is tomorrow, of course. Um, you mentioned kind of they're playing really well. Is there anything you think that the team can improve on? Mm-hmm. We shoot from like really like weird places. Mm -hmm. Like it's either under the hoop or half court or full court. It's like, I'm like, unless you're Steph Curry, then you can't really make, like, the full court shot. <laughs> right, so making some adjustments shooting-wise. You've been to a lot of the games, a lot of the home games, a lot of the away games. There haven't been really many away games, but you've been there. Uh, is there a game that stands out to you that maybe has been your favorite so far this season? The Georgia Tech game. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I love that game because... We're watching it right now. Oh, oh well, yeah, that's my favorite game. <laughs> Because there's just so much movement when that one shot mm -hmm. of the Arkansas crowd just, like, it was just like this one, like, little section that went up. They just kind of, um, uh, just, like, went crazy, and mm -hmm. it was just... A really good Perfect. game. Yeah, no, it was a really fun game to watch. Of course, we've been learning about your dad throughout this season. He's very active on social media. <laughs> He's really funny on social media, too. Is there something we may not know about your dad? He... He's a Grinch. <laughs> Why so? Because, well, like, when he loses a game, like, that's, like, when he's, like, most Grinch mode. But we got these pajamas at Walmart mm -hmm. for him. And he's like, oh, I don't want them. But me and my mom <laughs> bought them for him anyways. Mm -hmm. And now he just wears them every night. And yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say he does wear them, huh? A lot. Mm -hmm. A lot. <laughs> His favorite pajamas. Mm -hmm. You have two brothers. One of them um, is on the coaching staff. And um, w how do you feel about being the only girl? So having two brothers. Well... Oh, they're kind of bad at gift giving. <laughs> yeah. Because they're like boys and they like don't know, especially because I'm younger. Mm hmm. And like I do dance and they like know I do dance, but like, like they like they seriously like just never think about like me doing dance because that's like mostly what I ask for. I ask for like like point shoes or like ballet shoes, and then and they get me like like a brown shoes. I'm like, dang. <laughs> right, kind of playing it off like I you're know. really excited. Like, they just gave me like the most random things. I guess the it's thought like, matters though. So. Mm-hmm. I mean, I still like have them in my room and stuff. But just but don't really use them? Mm -hmm, I don't really use them. Well, you know, you've done a lot of work on TV. This is not your first TV interview. Um, your mom worked in TV for quite some time. Do you see yourself maybe down the road in the future getting into TV? Mm -hmm. Probably because I've done so many things and I'm like so young. So I feel like as I get older, I'll do more. And it's like just just growing like mm -hmm. in the in the like TV world. Well, I know that if you don't get into TV, you might have a future in dancing because you're in competitive <laughs> dancing right now. Um, why do you like dancing so much? Because it just like. Like, if I'm having a bad day, like, if I, like, failed the test, I would usually just make up a dance, and it would just, just, like, make me all happy, and mm -hmm. I just love it so much, and I, with my team, I've just made so many good friendships. We actually call, our, we actually call each other sisters, mm -hmm. because we, like, love each other so much, and I just love dance yeah, so much. Yeah, that's really much. special. Uh, so, I always like to talk to my niece and nephew about what's hip, what's cool <laughs> nowadays, because I feel so out of it um, when it comes to those things. When it comes to dancing, I know that there's some, like, hip dances, some hip dance moves. So, what, what's cool right now? Well, there's the whoa. Oh, okay, so, bad, like, 
Like the well? That. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. Okay, or it's like, no, okay. So, so Let's move. Maybe the next one. Uh, okay. There's a million rock. I don't know. It's kind of old, but it's, I, I guess. It's uh, maybe I'm. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then there's. Oh, there's this one where you go like that, and you go like that, and you go like that. This. Okay. I think I have some work to do when it comes to dancing, but. Um, Mariah, thank you so much for taking the time out of your morning. I know that you have school here in just a little bit, yeah. so I appreciate you waking up early with us. It means a lot. We'll be right back.